All right, so right off the bat, we get thrown. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see such a side of me. It won't happen again. And so after shooting my shot and missing terribly. Mm -hmm. Noah has two twin beds in every room. We'll save some money. All right, so our plan is to prove our innocence to Hanako that we were not the ones who killed her father, Subaru, and that it was her brother. You already know about the problem. Bro, really? But the problem is, she's always heavily guarded wherever she go with those, hey man, leave her alone, face ass guards that she got. And so we had to sneak in and take down her forces a little bit. We get nice up close and personal to prove our innocence. And this is what started the parade incident. All right, so it starts off so beautiful as every damn incident. And now all we have to do is just check out these three snipers. <laughs> and then and I, I can't wait till this shit over. Uh, I just uh, can't wait to talk to the diddy party. No diddy party for you, you spec ups uh, looking uh, son of a bitch. And I know uh, your breath hot under that tight ass uh, mask. Had to turn the second sniper into Stevie Wonder real quick. Cooked him too quick, bro. Was not ready. And I ain't gonna lie, this last one got me cooked because I thought this shit was I gonna be was easy. My but it was too obvious for that shit to be easy. As soon as I hopped in, boom. Not only once, but twice. And while being at my angriest, I obviously told him the one thing to do you kill yourself now. And while finishing up the mission, I, I don't know where I start seeing Kaido and shit. Like, what the fuck? Bro, trying to find another suit to take over after holding Dashima. And while taking out the last guard who was trying to hack us and shit, anonymous motherfucker came out the window out of nowhere, started attacking us and shit. <laughs> And I was excited. I was jumping for joy and shit. I'm like, oh my gosh, a cool boss battle, finally. Just to turn out for this shit to be dog shit. I'm not gonna lie, that shit was completely ass. This shit was trash for real, bro. Just turned invisible and ran away from me for fucking five minutes. And then that was it. That was the whole fucking fight. That's it. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. Almost got me at the end. He hit me a little spook. But then that was, but that was a, that was a man's I hear it started crying on the ground, rolling around and shit. Like, I should be the one who crying for this trash ass fight. Oh, lame ass. And so we finally got to the princess just for bro to shoot her ass, get to a more safer and secure place so we can tell her the truth with that we were not the ones who killed her dad, but you're noble. Then we start to tell her everything. But not so long after this nigga, you're noble, he sends the whole fucking squad to just kill us all, including his sister. Now, unfortunately, my boy Akira died in that. Yeah, rest in peace, Asian one. He definitely gonna miss his curry rice. No, unfortunately for Hanako, she survived. Then she starts to go on about how we can bring down her brother. But if I'm, honest, I'm not trying to hear all that shit. I don't even give a fuck about her. We were only there so she could tell us how to get the Makoshi. And yeah, she told us. But out of nowhere, we start tweaking again. Had our nose bleeding and shit. So we had to go ahead and dip just for us to fucking pass out. Help me. And so me and Johnny go over to plan once more. And so we call up. You call up her baby. <laughs> My baby. <laughs> so we tell her to plan. Roll the gang up. And we roll out. And we come storming that bitch. Get the bus. <laughs> Shit was a whole lot of war for real. Like both both sides going at it. Both of them. Bo and so we finally answered our Saka's construction area where the drill is. And we're gonna use that drill to drill under our Saka tower, which is Makoshi. And a bit of technical difficulties, but hey, we're fine, we're fine. Took down an extra few guards while this one was getting a little freaky. And here we are. They get to Makoshi, the last stop. And you know. We lost a couple of brothers and sisters along the way, but we're family, right? The Aldecados. Man. Yeah, bitch ass nigga had to fucking appear at the wrong fucking time, but hey, I, I was gonna see it coming. It, it was it was pretty fucking inevitable. Unfortunately, he made one of the big homies had to clock out. Too early, but at least he went out like a real one.
yeah, fuck Adam Smasher, but top tier voice acting right there. I'm not gonna lie. Since I died, I had to rewatch the pain one more time. Yeah, that shit definitely cost me some pain, especially when I gotta edit and see it over and over again, making me cry. And so we finally get our get back from my boy Johnny and Soft to tell him the last things he was going to hear. Bro's built like a one by one Lego piece. Bro got cooked so bad he out here looking like the Fallen. Told the wannabe the Fallen that he was not only killed by us but also Johnny. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Then we finally <laughs> kill him. Not after we hit our victory oh, dance with him, of course. <laughs> And so we're finally at Makoshi. Put that plug, plug in. We start we start tweaking a little bit, by the way. We, we scrape, we scrape. And we start flowing in the water. No Vegeta. And so me, Johnny, and all start to discuss what we was gonna do now, now that we achieved everything. But then Johnny decides to go with all and not take over our body. Which surprised me, but hey, I'll take it. And so I head back into reality, saying goodbye to Johnny one last time. And it was beautiful game down there made me cry again <clears throat> so we say our final goodbyes tonight city because we're getting the fuck out of there because this city ain't for me no uh and the ending scene was lovable left with panem by my side and then we did oh what's that panem straight yeah boy <laughs> i know what i'm gonna have to do on the next one. see ya okay we can take it all back to the red stuff and start all over from the can of stuff Break it all down into pieces of bright Romans the past by like a meteorite